secrets if you really look at yourself you will be speechless what happened to being doctors and teachers what happened to being your brother's keeper nowadays kids more worried what is going on YouTube? So today I want to talk about Fallout 4 being an exclusive for the Xbox One. But before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe button. It really help on my channel. And let's jump right into it. But before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that this is rumor and speculation. This is not confirmed information. So take this with a grain of salt. But anyways, let's get started. Now here is why I believe Xbox has a major third-party exclusive game coming out this year that has been un unannounced. And I kind of believe that's going to be a Fallout 4. First off, we recently got a release date for Halo 5. And this is one of Xbox's big exclusives. Um, this is probably going to sell a ton of Xboxes and sell a ton of copies of the game. But the unique and interesting part about the release date is it's releasing in October. I believe it's October 27th to be exact. And that seems like an odd time to release one of their biggest exclusives of the year. While they also have Forza Motorsport 5 and possibly Rise of the Tomb Raider, I kind of believe that this game is going to get delayed or something because we haven't seen any gameplay images or any in-game stuff. It's all been CG trailers and stuff like that. And I feel like even if Rise of the Tomb Raider did come out, I feel like that's more of an October game while Halo 5 is more of a November game, but I could be completely wrong. But also, we just got a delayed game for Quantum Break, so that's no longer coming out 2015. So that, that leaves November basically wide open if Rise of the Tomb Raider does not actually come out this year. Also, in case you guys don't know, the reason why Quantum Break was actually delayed and pushed back to 2016 was because the Microsoft PR team says there's so many exclusive games coming to the Xbox One that they don't have room to fit it in the 2015 schedule. And so far what we know, there's only three games that we currently know are possibly coming out this year. And while that's probably a good amount of exclusives, that's no way and means of being overwhelmingly amount of games where you have to push back certain games. And this June of 2015 at E3, Bethesda is actually going to hold their first ever E3 press conference. And basically what happens during E3 press conference is... All the major studios and brands and stuff like that show off their latest games and what their what different games are coming out each year and stuff like that. They show it off to the public, and this is very unique because most times they don't actually show their games at their own studio. Normally, they um, put their games that they're going to introduce at either Xbox's event or PlayStation's event. So the fact that they're having their own hour-long presentation means they have a lot of games or one possibly really big game that they want to show off. And the most rumored and speculated game that they're going to show off is Fallout 4. And that would make a lot of sense. So now as you start connecting the dots, Fallout 4 is going to be announced and most likely be released this year. Xbox is missing a major game with November. They're not just going to leave one of the most popular months of the year for selling video games wide open and not have any games competing in that month. You're probably thinking to yourself right now that there's no way this is going to be a timed exclusive to the Xbox brand. And when I say exclusive early in the video, I meant timed exclusive. Because there's, there's no way it's going to be a full exclusive. It's going to be most likely a timed exclusive, similar to what Rise Son of Rome did and Dead Rising. And also um, Rise of the Tomb Raider is going to be. It's going to be a timed exclusive because then after typically six months to a year, it goes to other platforms, so it could go to PC, go to PS4, and also 360 and PS3. But I would probably agree with you last year, but last year they showed off Rise of the Tomb Raider, which was a multi-platform game, and then they made it exclusive. So Xbox has the money to do it. Microsoft is a huge corporation bringing in billions of dollars a year, and they dedicate a quite... Um, big sum of that money to the Xbox division to go out and buy these exclusives and they would have to take a huge chunk like a big loss on paying um, Bethesda to acquire the rights for this to be a time exclusive and if they pay enough Bethesda wouldn't really matter because if they can pay enough where they benefit them so like it'll cover the cost of them if they sold on the PS4 they cover the cost of what they would make on the PS4 and PC why not? And if they add a little bit more money to make it a better incentive, why wouldn't they do that? And if Microsoft is willing to do that, the amount of Xbox One sold would be 
crazy because if you're a PlayStation gamer, if you're a PC gamer, and you love Fallout, and I know a lot of people out there really like Fallout, and they would really love to play Fallout 4, and you had to wait a year or six months, would you really wait that, or would you rather go out there and heck, you can get a 299 Xbox One bundle for games to play the Fallout 4 right away at launch and not wait up to a year or two years to play this game. I feel like a lot of people would just go out and buy Xbox Ones and this would be a huge opportunity for Microsoft to capitalize on and um, lower the gap in between Xboxes and PlayStation units sold. This video may completely be wrong. It could be some other random AAA game that Microsoft acquired the rights to for the game to come out in November, or it may just be Rise of the Tomb Raider coming out in November, or there may not be any game coming out in November. Although I feel like that would be a huge missed opportunity for Microsoft and the Xbox brand. We're just going to have to wait till E3 and hear all these other announcements and release dates for all their games to be for sure on what's going to happen. But if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe button. And also comment below, what do you guys think about November? What is Xbox going to do with that month? Are they going to put Rise of Tomb Raider, Fallout 4, or some other game that we currently do not know about? If you haven't already, I'll see you next time.